that completes the whole thing. Absolutely delighted. Good morning. Um, just about to go in now and weigh myself. It's cold and I don't want to take off the hoodie and stuff, but it has to be done. Um, before I go in, I just want to tell you what the the last weigh-in was when I uh, started out on this whole uh, reboot thing. Um, it was 229.22. There's the thing there. There's also my chest measurements and all that kind of stuff. So 229.22. So I'm going to weigh myself first and then I'm going to do the, the, the measurements and stuff like that. But uh, get the weighing out first. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Uh, get that out of the way. See you in a minute. All right then. I'm just gonna go to the scales now. I'm gonna put the scales on. Stand up onto the scales, and uh, let's have a look at the weight. What? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That can't be bloody right. I haven't lost anything. That's a whole waste of time now. That's that bloody sugar that's eating too much fruit. Oh, God. <laughs> Only joking. Let's go weigh myself proper. <laughs> All right, you can see that the day is 7th of February. It's half past four in the morning. Let's go weigh myself. Have to climb over this couch because we got the dogs here. I'm blocking off the thing. So, let's weigh myself first. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to come on then. Right. Wait, it is. 212.2 That's pretty good. That's um, 17 and a half 17 and a half pounds It's pretty good for a, for a week. That's what I was hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be around 20 but 17 and a half is good since I've been doing a lot of um, uh, a lot of muscle work you know so um, I'll just switch this off and turn it around then I can do the the uh, the measurements. Alright then, um, first of all I've got the mid measurement which is hard to get with that. Mid measurement which is, I'm going to do the chest first, I'll do the hips first, it's 42 inches. <coughs> Let's see what that weighs. That is after. See that? It's 40, 41 inches, so I've lost an inch on my uh, my hips to my chest. I think this is much more pertinent than the waist. That is 42 and a half. And the chest was 44 and a half, so I've lost two inches up here in the chest. And the big one, the waist. Forty one inches and that was forty five, so I've lost five inches or four inches in my waist, which is pretty good. Quite happy with that. Pretty good. <coughs> so that's a drop of seventeen and odd pounds, seventeen and a half pounds in weight. Uh, four inches on my waist, two inches on my chest, and an inch around. The, uh, the hips, I didn't think I was going to lose an inch on the hips, but I think there's, there's fat everywhere, you know. Uh, I think the weight thing is, you know, you, you, you can 
you can have a bad night's sleep and you can not lose two pounds you know um you can have uh um you know too much water the night before and it can affect your weight you can have a bit of salt in your in your diet and it can affect your weight so you know there's a lot of different things that can affect your weight that are outside of your body control you know um that weight measurement means a lot more you know four inches off my waist is uh pretty big you know um and for me it was all about trying to start again you know to to reset my stomach muscles um to uh uh, to reset my stomach size, not my stomach muscles. I mean, that's going to be a long-term uh, process, you know, doing the doing the stomach muscles, um, and to do a few of the, the things and stuff like that. So I think once I start eating again, I'm probably going to be down to about 12, 12 pounds in weight loss overall, which is pretty good for me. You know, I'm pretty glad of that. But it's a, you know, it's a long-term process. It's it's trying to get rid of a lot of the excess fat. You know, people have been talking about the sugar and um, you know that there's too much sugar in uh, you know when you do 30 days of just smoothies and stuff and you know if it was a skinny person that's doing it I'd say you know don't do it you know there's no point in doing it um, I don't think you should do it for the other reasons I mean I get a lot of mental clarity from this um, you know my brain just seems to, to work a bit better after I've done something like this uh, I don't know if it's the achievement levels, you know, if I did another 30 day challenge, whether, um, you know, if it was nothing to do with food, whether that would give me the same um, achievement. I mean, I, I certainly get the same thing from not drinking alcohol, but it's on a whole different level. Um, you know, resetting your salt intake can be done, just eating whole foods, um, you know, so many different other areas, but this for me specifically was um, designed to uh, help me out with a lot of different things, you know, and that weight around the stomach that you know band of, of Fat that men tend to carry around and um, you know and the, the the fat that women carry around as well, you know in different places I mean, it's not good for your health, you know that gut fat and I was told that a long time ago by a doctor to get rid of that because it was one of the it's the dangerous fat in your body so you know when you take You compare each one, you know doing a juice fast and the risk of you getting a bit of a fatty liver um you know over a month once you stop this that's gonna go you know i mean you know go back to the to the proper whole foods diet again the healthy diet you know doing this for 30 days is not the healthiest thing to do right but it's better than going around with the gut now the the problem is to keep off that gut now you know and that's the that's my um that's my aim now once this 30 day now that this 30 day thing has finished you know i'm still going to enjoy my food i'm really looking forward to my curry on sunday glad this is over I'm going now for for my bananas in a few minutes um but yeah it's it's just one of those things i'm delighted that it's finished um will i do 30 days again i don't know um, i hope not i hope i don't get to that situation again where i need to do 30 days might do a week or 10 days uh, depending on uh, how i feel um yeah but it's definitely an experience and stuff so i'll see you in a bit go eat my first banana in a bit and i'll see you for that here it is the first bite of food in <coughs> 30 days the well spotted banana <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you want to get mindful eating, I haven't had a banana, I love bananas. If you want to get mindful eating, do this, it's just, mmm, the taste is just lovely, the, the um, quality of the food, you know, the, the, the textures. Mmm. Normally, mm. it's just a perfect banana. Normally, I just 
eat a banana in two goes, now uh, two bites, and stuff it down and stuff and get another one down with but when you haven't had one in so long, mm, it's just delicious. Looking forward to the rest of the meals of the day. Um, I'll show you what I'm eating as I'm going throughout the day. Uh, I'm going to go to um, the, uh, look, this Murphy wants a bit of my banana. You haven't got a hope in Hills Chant. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> I've just given them a pear. They love pears and apples. They guzzle them down. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you in a while anyway. I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> so a quick update on that banana. Still haven't had the second one. Second one is there. Um, I feel abs full. Not full full, but satisfied with the one banana which is really strange but that was half of the idea was to um, try and reset my uh, meal servings and stuff you know to try and you know before it'd be like three or four bananas and I wouldn't be hungry don't get me wrong I'm gonna eat the other banana but um <laughs> they were quiet until I started doing this This is five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I am going to eat the other ba banana in a while. I just thought I'd say that, you know, because, um, yeah, it's a good way of resetting your stomach, all this kind of stuff, so good one. All right, first day of eating here. Um, just off down to the gym now. It's about 10 past eight. Uh, I'm going to make a smoothie. So I'm going to put in the smoothie some two bananas, one pear, three pieces of this melon, some of these frozen raspberries. I'm gonna put this whole bag of spinach in, some chia seeds, and some soy milk, probably about a cup of soy milk. I'll show it to you when it's done. Right, there's the finished one. Couldn't fit all that spinach in. A bit more left here, so I'll keep that for later on. That's it, I'm gonna put a bit of protein powder in one of the shakes and eat that. Just finished the gym. Um, just taking a little bit of a break now to have this is the I haven't even finished the first tub of that's the second one I haven't even finished the first tub of smoothie that I made um, so all I've had this morning is just two bananas since whatever it was I got up at, uh, at 10 past 4 it's 25 past 10 now um, my stomach has definitely shrunk because I'm feeling full I need to get the food into me though because I'm feeling a bit weak. Um, I'm gonna go and do get some of this down me and then I go into the yoga now. And see how that goes. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so just wanted to let you know exactly what was happening with um, yesterday was my first day of eating. You see me with the banana. Um, did I show you anything else? I can't remember now because this is the following day. What I did was I had uh, went out shopping and got um, four, four really nice organic sweet potatoes. Right, Esther was going to join me for dinner. Esther joined me for dinner yesterday, um, so I, I um, put those into the oven, set it up at um, two hundred and thirty degrees Celsius. Yeah, anyway, that's the way my oven is set up: two hundred and thirty degrees, pretty high, medium high. And uh, completely forgot all about them. And when I went back into them, they were burnt to a crisp. I couldn't eat them. They were just stinking. Uh, the, the kitchen was full of smoke. I haven't cooked anything in ages. What I wanted to do was to put these things on, um, take them out, uh, and then when they were just about done, and then put them back in later when Esther went to uh, uh, when Esther came back from work. Um, so we basically had. Uh, a couple of boiled potatoes and some um, cauliflower. So it was really boring. And by that stage, I was so pissed off, I didn't want to make a video. So I didn't make a video. Um, uh, I was that tired and pissed off anyway. I didn't really enjoy my dinner, you know, as much as I wanted to. So um, today I've made a pot of stew. I'm going to have some of that in a minute. Um, I've also uh, I also got some bread today and I had a sandwich. Um, just some hummus, uh, not hummus, we had um, 
What did I have today? I had lettuce <laughs> and avocado. That was it. Lettuce and avocado. Sorry, it was a bit toasted. Avocado, a tiny little bit of salt, a bit of pepper on it, and a lot of uh, rucula lettuce, which was absolutely delicious. I loved it. So, yeah, I'm not going to do any more recording now until maybe I'll record a meal tomorrow if I could do the sweet potatoes again. See, but uh, yeah. I'm enjoying my food. I felt a bit weak today, really. It was uh, it was strange. I thought I'd I'd feel stronger because I was eating food, but I think my body just got used to the uh, either the sugar or a lot of juice, you know. And um, yeah, uh, I felt a bit weak, but I had a good session with Jose. One of the best sessions I've had. He really killed me by the end of it, you know. Um, but yeah, it was cool. Really good. Enjoyed it. So uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. Morning. Um, this is two, three days now that I haven't. I've been off the juiced diet. Uh, I'm gonna have my breakfast now this morning, and that's gonna consist of some mixed berries that have heated up. Full cup of oats. It's these oats. A cup of soy milk. Cup of water. Onto the pan. I'm also going to have one, two bananas, and I've got some mixed nuts to put on the top. Going to mash up the two bananas. There you have it, the porridge mix with some berries, some bananas and some mixed nuts on the top. Thank you. 